Hi guys, I'm going to show you something real quick. This is going to be a quick video, kind of, so I'm going to show you how I did this. And so when I start up the um, TV, it will boot into this, which is... Uh, um, Android uh, TV launcher, which is a free software and it's also a paid software, but the free software doesn't allow you to basically add folders and also hide your apps that show up because there are certain apps that show up when you boot. And so I also have another software called uh, um, Boot Apps that, that's on here because that's what you need. You need Boot Apps and you also need um, Android TV launcher. Um, APK, which you can get from, which you can get, um, the, the, you can get the free version, then activate it, and then on your computer, and then you can then sideload it onto your device, so, so this is how it will look when it boots, so, let me just, so you can't just press, uh, you can't just press home to go back to that menu because when you go back to menu, this is how it is. This is for my Google device. So software you need to sideload is basically this, which is TV file commander. And then you log in, log into your Google Drive, add the three AP, add the APK file to actually there, add both AP, APKs to your, the, to your Google Drive. It'll show up here. And then you can basically go to here, and then you will have it here after you allow sources, and then it'll allow you to do this after you allow sources, you can install the applications, and then you have to make sure you have to have developer mode enabled, available by, connect, by clicking on the build model of the Android device, which in this case is a Google Chromecast with Google TV, you press it like six times and it'll allow you to go into developer mode. And you'll end up like this, so. And then for the button, it's, it is a, another software which you need is called uh, um, Boot Apps. Boot Apps you also can get off of APK Pure and download that and then install it, run it, and then it'll add, then you select what you want, want to start up, which is uh, this software, and then you do another thing where, where you have, have, you basically have Google, Google TV show the button, the, the, the boot application, I mean the boot apps, as your main TV. application and when it starts, this is the so it'll boot up. So let me just show, show, show you. So how um, I got this whole post then up. you need so a smart the, plug like uh, that, and the then, computer. and if you have a sound system or soundbar, this one specifically uses a soundbar because it uses five five fiber. So have the soundbar plugged into there. I have the subwoofer plugged into there with the three way splitter, and then I have my Google TV plugged into there. So, because Google TV doesn't like to boot some so actual times, and um, or or it freezes and I have to reset it. So that's just because of I'm not using a actual remote. I'm using a sofa baton, but um, that's connected to like there. And I have my TV plugged into a surge strip. And so when I say Alexa, turn off m movie. turns it off and so when I say Alexa turn on movie okay. it boots and as you see since it's booting it boots
and now it loads that and now it loads this now it goes here and this is a custom menu you can show it doesn't show any of the um, ads and so I can load this and it'll load the Android app and so and I use that with the controller and you can set this up like like this and I just arrange this for stuff I use the most and uh, um, there's one app I could actually hide which is this one so I could have that in Plex now and I can do a Adobe on how I set, I set that up so but this is how I have it set up it tells the time has a little has a custom menu that I like and you can literally load all the stuff and so also um so the google tv doesn't have a um remote desktop client which i have for connecting to a remote desktop pc that i have and so because i have a keyboard hooked up to here i have a controller hooked up to here and i also have uh, um this remote hooked up to here and it's all running on Bluetooth, so yeah. So I can just basically have this boot up like this. And if I do ever need to update um, the actual um, OS, I can just press the menu button. The menu button, there you go. And it'll basically bring you back to here, so. Thanks for watching, bye.